Hey everybody and welcome to Book Chat. I'm your host, author Vivian E. Moore. I hope everybody's having a great weekend. I know I am. Uh, it's a little bit soggy today, a little bit cold. It actually feels uh, more like fall than spring, but I guess that is to be expected this time of the year because um, usually we don't warm up around here to uh, late April, um, mid-May or the first beginning of May. But, um, you know, I'm not complaining because we've had uh, several beautiful weekends um, this past uh, this past month. And last week was exceptionally beautiful um, Easter weekend. And so um, and I was very thankful for that, that we had a very nice, warm, sunny day uh, to celebrate Easter. And I hope everybody's having a great day today. Um, I don't want to keep you for too long. So uh, on that note. Uh, we're going to get straight to the URLs, and if you will, grab yourself something to write with and something to write on, and we will get started. All right, so here we go. Uh, the first one is to my Spreaker account. Um, it is https colon forward slash forward slash www.spreaker.com forward slash user forward slash author Vivian Moore. You can also uh, like me, follow me. Uh, on Facebook, and that is https colon forward slash forward slash www.facebook.com, excuse me, forward slash author Vivian Moore, uh, Vivian E. Moore. And um, you can also uh, follow me and like me on Twitter. My uh, Twitter handle is God's Property 46. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, uh, that is https colon forward slash forward slash Instagram dot com forward slash God's property 51. Um, you can also check out my web page um, and that is on Wix site. That's W-I-X-S-I-T-E. And that is at https colon forward slash forward slash Vivian Moore dot Wix site dot com forward slash author Vivian Moore. And also um, you can follow me uh, all of my blogs on uh, blog site. Um, today's, uh, show will also be listed out there. Um, and it, as well as all the other shows that I've done, um, over the past year. And, uh, you can look that one up at, uh, Vivian Um, if you want to hear the recorded version of this show, um, at a later date, you can pick it up on, uh, iTunes and also, um, I Heart Radio podcast. So there you go. Those are all the ways that you can reach out to me and listen to the show at your leisure. You can either listen to it live today um, at 6 p.m. on every Saturday, or you can listen to the recorded version um, that is uploaded immediately following the live show. All right, so here we go. So the title of today's show is Power Up, and the topic is Optimizing Optimism. I like that play on words. Um, one of the most inspiring songs for me was Optimistic. Um, it was performed by uh, the Sounds of Blackness, and this was a, a bit ago, um, but um, they were one of the most um, uplifting uh, groups. They they were sort of gospel and sort of R&B is a mixture um, of the both. But anyway, the, the lyrics of that song um, suggested that, um, that one bleak moment was not the end, um, to a bright future. And, and here, here are just, uh, four verses of, uh, of the uh, lyrics to that song. Um, you hear the voice of reason telling you this can never be done. No matter how hard reality seems, just hold on to your dreams. And I mean, and it is, that is just exactly what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about powering up and optimizing your optimism. And, you know, just by those four lyrics of that, those four lines uh, of that song, it says a lot. It really does. Um, you know, because these verses, they, they spoke to me in ways that, um, that I fully comprehended. Um, they made me want to persevere uh, when quitting became an option. And, and and I think that goes to say for for most people, um, we need to be motivated. We need to be inspired so we don't give up and we keep moving forward. Um, the hardest thing about staying positive on your journey is remaining optimistic uh, when it seems as though there's nothing to aspire to. 
and life is filled with uh, with just so many pitfalls that that take us unaware you know but there is a power source that can optimize your optimism the first thing you need to do is you must realize that there is a driving force that keeps us fueled and moving in the right direction. And I, I understand um, we all get lost sometimes in the shuffle and, and lose motivation. Um, and, and often this is when you need to power up and recharge. This power source that I speak about is, it, it's like a filling station um, that keeps it, it, it keeps our dreams alive. It is the sustenance of life if we stay linked to the energy source. And you might ask, where is it located? Well, it comes from within. Um, it is at the, the center of our being. Um, if you believe, as I do, that all good things come from God, then you already know not only where it's located, but also who provides it. Thomas Jefferson once wrote that life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Well, this is just a, just a small blurb from, from that speech, but you know, and, and I don't know his level of spiritual awareness. I mean, if you're familiar with, with uh, Thomas Jefferson, then um, then you know quite a bit about him and, and his lifestyle and, and, and all of those things that um, the people are still talking about to this day. But, you know, but I do feel that he had an understanding that those words were inspired from an inner source that flowed through him. You know, those were questionable times in his day, much like the world is today. Nonetheless, he possessed enough knowledge that led him to realize the world um, was a much bigger place than even he could imagine. And, and, and that same thing holds true for us. It, it is way more, way larger than, than what we can imagine. And that's why we need a power source. Not only this, you know, those words that, that he wrote in that speech, they had everlasting content that still speaks to those of us who need to be empowered and inspired. You know, we just like Mr. Jefferson, um, require positive energy to keep our optimism flowing at the highest percentage, even for secular as well, spiritual individuals who dream of success. I am a self-possessed optimist and one of my coworkers, um, Sometimes she gets so upset with me um, because she's like, you are one of the most positive people I know. And she's like, and sometimes I just want to smack you. And I'm like, but why? You know, what's wrong with being positive? You know, but she's a pessimist. And, and we're going to get to that here in a second. But, uh, you know, I, I, I can imagine, you know, with her mindset that that me being positive, having a positive solution to every problem is an issue for her uh, because her mind doesn't work like that. But you know, when most people see the glass um, as half empty, I, I see it as being almost full. And, and it's also how I view uh, potential. Um, either you have a lot or none at all, but it depends on how you view opportunity as well. It, whereas a pessimist is um, someone who is doubtful of all outcomes and uh, simply because they rely on the draw uh, of a card or, or just luck, you know, to just to be plain about it. Um, whereas the optimist or idealist knows change comes by participation, therefore the assurance that nothing happens by chance. If you envision it as something based on happenstance, then you've already set yourself up for failure. However, if you imagine it as a prevailing reality, then you have successfully optimized your optimism. And it starts with how we think, but um, it should cover every facet of our lives, not just our mind, but our 
mind, our body and spirit as well. And if we truly want to become insightful in how we manage our daily existence, then we need to do that. And how do we obtain the best from life? You know, is it by waiting for a change to come or by changing the way we wait? I live my life with a tremendous amount of daily prayer. I'm at the beginning of my day and at night before I fall asleep. This is how I get through. This is how I cope. It's my coping mechanism to, 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 um, to include prayer, um, in my daily routine. And I don't want to say prayer is a routine, part of a routine, but it's part of my structure is how I, it's how I live on a daily basis. So, but, but the difference, you know, in how we view the elements of change through this medium is realizing, um, that change doesn't come by waiting alone, but, but also by performing an action that magnifies a hopeful outcome of the perspective change we are wanting to receive and strive for. And, and just on this closing note, optimism is largely based on attitude. Um, either it will be positive or negative. And the choice is yours to decide. But remember, if you want to stay focused and fully engaged when it comes to the decisions you make in life, then you must first power up by opti- by optimizing your optimism. All right, folks, that's all I have for you today. And I hope that you have gained something uh, from these, these small tidbits of wisdom. Um, you know, it's my goal each week to bring you something um, that will um, give you something to think about. Um, that it will weigh on you conscious on, on your conscience um, to um, you know to to help you move in the right direction um, to motivate you and to inspire you to to do more than what you think you can do um, you know we all need to be uplifted at times you know not necessarily praise but just uplifted we need encouraging words um, we need things that will you know power up our optimism and you know if we can get it. By, you know, just having someone, you know, speak positivity over our lives, then by all means, you know, that's who you should include in your circle. And, you know, optimism for largely for most people um, is something that I don't know if they are consciously aware um, of it, if they think about it the way I do. But, um, you know, it's, it's just a part of me. It's a part of my existence, you know, and it just goes with the, with the overall, um, you know, positive way you see things, you know, you, um, if you want to be successful in life, then you have to remain positive. You have to remain optimistic, um, because those are key factors in moving to remain moving in the right direction towards your goals, meeting those goals. Um, and you know, and it's not, the journey is not always an easy one, but it is an inspiring one. Um, you know, if you want to see your dreams to fruition, then that means that you got to keep moving. You know, you got to stay focused and keep your mind trained on positive things because once you allow negativity to come in, then usually it overtakes. Um, and so you don't, you don't want that to happen. So, um, try to stay positive as much as possible. I know that, um, you know, we all have days where we don't want to be positive. You know, we want to just dive into the negativity and just stay there, you know, because not that it's comforting, but, um, you know, it, it's just something where you don't have to deal with reality if you just stay there, you know, but, uh, but I want to pull you up out of that. You know, I want you to, um, to tread in, in, in positive waters and to keep a positive flow around your life. Keep it around you. You know, think of that as your aura, something that's positive and, um, you know, just keep you moving in the right direction. But also I don't want to, to, um, discourage anyone by telling them that they have to be optimistic all the time because I'm not optimistic all the time. The majority of the time I am, but there are some times who I do, also, because I'm human, allow negativity to to flow in. But you know that's not how that's not a good way to live. Um, when you're when you're always thinking of disaster and pending, you know, doom. That's not a good way to live. You know, you have to think that you know just because it's cloudy today 
that the sun will come out tomorrow. I know I sound like a song from Annie, but it's the truth, you know, and, and just remember that behind those clouds, the sun is shining. You know, it may not be shining here, but it's shining somewhere. So it gives you something to look forward to. And you just have to remember that. And also remember um, to uh, take somebody to church with you tomorrow. I hope you had a great Easter. I hope you did take a family member, take a friend, some children to church. We had a church that was overflowing with everybody. And I hope that we see them again, you know, this Sunday. But uh, please do that. Please take somebody with you um, to worship. Um, tomorrow to hear the word because they may not get it any other way and you know we that's what we're supposed to do we're supposed to not only be hearers of the word but also doers and by that means that we should make disciples of those who are not Christ-like to tell them about the word to tell them about salvation and also tell somebody that you love them because tomorrow is not promised today may be the only day that you get to say that I love you. I hope you love me back. Until the next time you hear my voice, God bless you and goodbye.